So nowadays we face a rough year in 2022 by having this drop off of 40% of investment on that side. Being honest, I think this year is going to be a really exciting year of getting back the like the faith on being and having better numbers than this past year. I think it's going to be as rough as past year, but what we have to really think is that a new investments on new areas such as innovation, ingredients such as novel farming, such as precision and data analytics are going to come and are going to make a better year on investment. If we think about that, I think it's the end of the era of delivery and now it's coming an era on investment way more focused on the real food tech side and that it's going to be super excited for sure. So I assume that now that we ended this delivery waste, despite of course we are going to still invest in food delivery, I think it's time now to get back the real technology that is going to transform and change absolutely the food industry. I think it's time to invest in, in great innovation, in cell-based, in personalized nutrition, in other areas that for sure are gonna be key for the sector. And as I mentioned, they are not gonna be, they're not gonna only transform the industry, they are gonna create a new one. And that's why it's so important that this year we really enhance those investments and we really trust that despite the investment crisis that we are facing right now, it's gonna be also a key year for food tech investments. I believe uh, doing Food for Future in this case is key to really understand how important and how big the talent on the food industry is. We have seen now a bunch of new technologies, new challenges, and also uh, new areas that for sure are gonna be key for the future of the industry. Not only for that, also for sorts of important things like climate change, sustainability, or other aspects that we need to fix as soon as possible. So those comments is the best uh, option or the best idea to really know about them, learn about them, and also hear what experts have to say regarding the food industry. So please continue to do that and hope to see you in the next year.